Hello there, I am with the Associate Dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communication, Gail Seymour. Hello. Thank you so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Telling us a little bit about all the events and exciting things going on. Kind of fill us in what's going on this fall. Well, you're here in the Bomb Gallery, first of all, so be sure you put that on your list of things to do. We're in a room that has work by an artist named Faye Koo, and um, it's going to be exciting. She'll be here on campus giving a presentation. Wonderful. And to start off, we have a, a, an amazing artist coming this way and doing a, something pretty big here. This is huge. And uh, really, it's kind of scary huge. Um, we've got Patrick Doherty coming. Patrick Doherty is an internationally known sculptor who makes art out of sticks and twigs and saplings. Now, I'm not talking about art, I'm talking about art. And we're talking about works that are building size. So try to imagine, we're out in front of the bomb gallery on the lawn, try to imagine at least a kind of 30 by 30 footprint, maybe a sort of two-story high structure that is gonna be created out of these sticks and twigs and whatever else he collects um, over about a three-week period. Wow. It's wow. And it'll stay there for a It'll while. stay there for probably two years until we decide, or nature decides, yeah. <laughs> to take it down. Patrick has made these things around the world. I think he's made some 230 of them. So it'll just be exciting. And the other thing that's big about this project, it is a community public art project. So we're still looking for volunteers. Um, we'd love for people to come out, even if they don't want to get their hands dirty. Um, we're going to have bleachers set up so you can come out and actually watch the process. So it'll take place again uh, beginning on September 2nd. He'll arrive. Um, they will begin to collect materials. Um, and then it will be finished um, on September 20th. So certainly, you know, when you get into those teens, come on out and see what's going on. So cool for UCA to be bringing him here. Tell us, uh, what else you got going on? Well, you know, one of the things that's always good to do with any kind of project is leverage it. So we're not just having Patrick Doherty here, we're having other artists come and interact with his project as well. So. On October 3rd, we'll have the Core Performance Company. They're a dance company based in Houston and Atlanta, and they're going to make site-specific dance in and around and through uh, this large piece by Patrick Doherty. So it should be fantastic. Core Performance really are not dancers in sort of the traditional sense. They're really artists who happen to use their body and movements as their medium. And so they're going to be working with different members of the community, actually um, adults with developmental disabilities. And um, it's going to be an amazing sort of event to, to see how other artists interact with an artist's work. Wonderful. And there was something else you were going to tell us about? Well, the other thing that's big that I think people should know about is the AIDS Memorial Quilt will be coming to campus. And this is really a kind of public art piece that's you know, like no other. Um, the AIDS Memorial Quilt now weighs 54 tons. Wow. I know. It commemorates over 94,000 individuals whose lives have been lost to AIDS. Um, it, it's a kind of memorial art that really doesn't have a precedent because it's not really a memorial to heroes, it's really a memorial to victims and to the families and loved ones they leave behind. I expect it to be a very moving experience for people to see it. We're actually going to be having two 12 by 12 foot blocks that represent Arkansans who have died of AIDS. So um, I hope people will come and I hope they will see that here's art that actually is part of the healing process, part of, and certainly political, um, certainly having all these different elements to it and people really need to come and see it when they can. Very cool. So many things going on and more information on your website. Absolutely, course, absolutely. College of Fine Arts and Communication as well as uca.edu slash go slash events. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. We hope to see you at some of those events.